What is up guys, my name is Alex, it is Friday so it means it's weekend and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a fire effect. So let's say you want to have a picture and you want to have like nice, nice flames on it like on the background or in front of it of just a nice you know fire effect. I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now, so I would say let's jump straight into the actual video. Okay guys, so we are on Photoshop as you guys all can see, and basically as you guys can see this is a picture of me in the Subaru Beer Z car. I'm going to use this picture to show you guys that I'm going to, yeah, like how to put a fire effect on it. So basically the first thing that you want to, you know, also know, you want to search up a, you know, a picture of a fire like that has PNG, that dot .png format, like because JPEG is not going to be transparent. You only want the fire, not like a white or a black background because you need a .png file so you have only the fire so we want to google and you just want to look up a nice picture of fire that you can actually you know download so i would say let's just go to google real quick okay guys so we are on google right now and i'm just going to type in um fire png i'm going to do that and as you guys can see there's all there are already images popping up but i'm going to click on the images one and as you guys can see right here we have all kinds of fires well basically so what you want to do is you want to find a fire that has no background so let's say i'm going to this is not like really a fire like an explosion as you guys can see the background is transparent so that means you will see like little squares line ish and that is just like a like without a background so this you will only see this so that is what we want so i'm just going to look for a nice fire and uh let's see which ones we have everything like the most of it is sort of like without background as you can see uh this one is nice this one i'm going to pick this one guys this one looks really good so what you want to do is just right click you want to click you know save the image to your you know to whatever folder i'm gonna click on this one boom yes then we're going to go back to photoshop okay so we want to drag that image in right now so i'm going to do that bam there we go and as you guys can see alex what's going on on the fire is like really small in the middle yes i know you can make it bigger but like if you don't want to have like this like it's going to stretch and completely like ruin what you want to do is you want to hold shift while you drag it you know up so it, it will not lose is it is you know it's aspect ratio so you can just hold shift then you can drag it and i'm going to just match it up with the lines at the, at the corner and i'm going to make it a little bit smaller and I'm just going to stretch it a little bit, not too much. And I'm just going to, let's say like, dude, uh, it, it, it will only fits the screen, but then it's too big. I know, but you can just, you know, put it down if, if you want. You can make it, you can do it like this. That looks really good as well. So you don't need to have like straight from, you know, from the bottom. You can just also go down a bit. Uh, so you will see the flames and that is how you add fire to a picture guys it's so simple and also at the right as you can see above my head you can see this drop down menu you can find all kinds of modes let's see what happens to you know to the fire so you have all kinds of modes that you can use that makes the fire look a bit different as you can see so you can actually pick what you like and what you want you know as a end result so this is how you add fire guys it's really simple that is basically how to do it that is how to add fire it's really simple you just want to go to google find an image that has a dot png no background and then you can mess around with the size and with the modes you can also put it like this i mean you can also make it like this like re like really short like this you can you can choose whatever you want so this is how you add in fire guys it's that simple and i don't know that's basically the video so that is how you make a fire effect guys it's really simple i know thank you guys for watching thank you guys for the continued support make sure to check out my channel in about two hours from now because then i'll be uploading a video like how to sharpen an image so that's going to be really cool i'm really excited for that video so i want to thank you guys for watching thank you guys for liking and commenting on this video and i will see you guys in two hours it's me again. Um, I know I, have, I haven't uploaded a video uh, for a while on this channel. You know, all kind of movies was a great actor uh, the past several months. Um, basically, uh, some of you may know uh, that I'm a partner with Media Crowd. Let me explain. It's on the comment section down below. So I'm just gonna uh, put this completely random. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next week.